This morning on today's style, a guide for spring fashion. If you find yourself digging through racks of clothes in your own closet, only to come up empty handed, it could be you have too much of what you don't need or not enough of what you do. Amy E. Goodman is the author of a new book. It's called Wear This, Toss That. Amy, good morning. Good morning. I love that you wrote this book while pregnant with your second child That's in right. the middle of the night. <laughs> yes, I'm a working mom who really is devoted to her family, but are, is, I'm always answering those questions from real women. Does this blouse go with this pants? And right. Do these shoes go with this hem? And having been a magazine editor for 12 years, I wanted to call all this great information in a book that's really visually driven, simplifying women's choices right. so they can navigate it now all. Now you say dressing poorly can cost you. What do you mean by that? Well, it really costs us not to look our best for things like job interviews in a super competitive marketplace, okay. for those irrevocable first impressions, but most importantly, yeah. for our self-confidence and self-worth. All right, let's get to our first model. We have Simi here, and uh, we have a before photograph. This is what she looked like when she came in. Cute, but yeah. how do we step it up? This is all about spring fashion, and the two hot trends that uh, designers are coveting is the stripe here with a really horizontal stripe in a baggy sweater okay. and the 1970s inspired jean pants. So here she so, is now doing it the right way. Yeah, those bell bottoms before were totally weighing her down. Now it's about proportion with the stripe by the sweater from Lucky Brand. The stripes are thinner, they're placed closer together. The rule with this, petites wear smaller prints. If you have a larger frame, a bigger print. Okay. We've tucked it very gently into these nice pants from Bloomingdale's. And this is more of a flare jean, a, not really a full belt bottom, and it really suits to counterbalance her gorgeous hips. Now that we see she has a waist, we can belt it here with a, a nice medium width belt. And this is from uh, Bowden. And last but not least, layered necklaces, elongating wow. her gorgeously petite frame even more. I think it's a really timeless and chic look that she can wear now this spring, but uh, throughout the summer. It's amazing when you look at the before and after. I mean, yes. similar, just a few changes there, yes. but it looks really good. You look great, Simi. Yeah. All right, next we have with us Raina, and we're really focusing in on white here. This is her before <laughs> picture when she came in, and now, come on over. So for the, one of the, literally one of the hottest trends to go down the runway was the all white okay. look. And this but before, before she was wearing jean on jean, mm -hmm. the sweater was really thin, and it kind of hugged her curves in the wrong okay. way. So what did you change here? Now we got up, it's all about texture to add dimension and depth to the look with the white look. So we added some ruffles with the blouse from JCPenney. She's nipped at the waist with a blazer from Express. Express that really nicely hits her at a great yeah. place in her hip to elongate her already tall frame. Well, I was going to say, Renee already has long she legs does. there, so this flatters even more. And in order to kind of counterbalance all that okay. length, we exposed and showed some skin on her arms by cuffing her jacket. We added to that some great platforms in black and white from Payless. We let her keep the jeans, mm -hmm. but here with the accent, with a pop of color, you can do it so easily with the accessories okay. to add a little bit of color to an otherwise neutral And look. what you might not be able to pick up on air is that this is a cotton jacket she has on yes. as, as a to the denim on denim, which was what you were talking right, about. Right, and that's right. a big no-no. Okay, well, ladies, you look great. Let's go to this table here. Thank you both, and you're going to show us what to toss out and what we can keep. What do we have here? For spring accessories, okay. if, when it comes to shoes, go for the platforms. They're totally hot, and in this season, like this cutie patootie from Betsy Johnson, okay. the thing to avoid is the flat. This is the flat form. It's a flat with a platform. You want to toss these. So you want to toss these. Nearly impossible to walk in. Right, they're not cute either. And then you want to keep, keep these okay. These are good. Okay, and what about the flats here? So flats of every variety but certainly the strappy sandals are absolutely red hot. Avoid the super skinny heel like stilettos. Toss them to the back of your closet because they'll come out another okay. season. All right, so super strappy and then get rid of the, the skinny, skinny heel. heel. And what do we do with our handbags here? So one of the it bags of the season is going to be the oversized tote, but there is such a thing as completely overwhelming your frame. Right. So particularly for you, you're very petite. You would go for an oversized tote that is proportional to your frame. So maybe yeah. one to two inches How bigger you know than you normally the right would. I mean, you so when you're side? petite, you want to go to your side. You you want a bag that doesn't go dip much farther than your waistline. Okay, good, good. So forego the super big tote. And That's now, right. what about jewelry? What do we toss? What do we keep? I love statement necklaces that are layered because you can trip them up every single time a little bit differently. Um, here from Sorelli and Nichelle, they're absolutely gorgeous and so easy to wear and really elongate your frame. Skip the chokers because it really takes like a swan's neck to pull them off. And also they can really <laughs> enhance like a double chin. And you know, okay. with all these tosses, if it's something that's still wearable, Give it okay. to charity. So toss the choker, go for long and lean, and exactly. what do we do with our belts here? And for the belts, the OB belt is really hot and in, but it really adds girth and, and weight to the, <laughs> no to one the wants that. Nobody wants that. So go for a great medium belt. I call this the uh, you know the save me of belts because it looks good in any fashion situation. Okay, and what about thin belts? Sometimes you worry yeah. you get lost. We saw them everywhere on okay. the red carpets, long gossamer gowns, nice little uh -huh. skinny belts. The rule here, the skinnier the belt is, the thinner the fabrication. Souls. All right, Amy. Cool. <laughs> so good to see you. Good tips there in the book again. Thank it's called. You. 
wear this. Toss that Amy Goodman. Thank you. And thanks to our models. They look great. Up next, an 